All right, in this video, I will show you how you can use these images to create a cool manipulation like this one. I'm gonna use the size for Instagram. So I'm gonna use the dimensions 2160 by 2700 and make sure you have eight bits selected here because that's what Instagram supports and press create. Okay, let's start off with this photo. You can even use your own photo for this. Just make sure it's something like this. You can even face the camera if you have a photo like this. If you want to use your own photo. So I'm going to just hold down the mouse and drag it in a new file. Next, I want to make sure these edges of the umbrella are touching the edge of this image. It's really important for this one. So this is fine. And after that, we need to make a selection. So I'm going to go here to the pen tool. Select the pen tool and press the mouse at the edge here and press the next point now once you got that bottom part selected we can just make like these points here and close the selection next you want to press your right mouse and go to make selection after that you will get this window and this time I'm gonna use zero pixels so I have a hard edge and press OK and that's it now we have this selection now what I'm gonna do now is create a new layer press D on your keyboard so I have black to white and press command or control backspace so now I have like this white area that I'm gonna use after that I'm gonna go to the other image this one and just drag it in the file place it above these layers make sure it's above these and let's press right mouse and convert to smart object so we don't ruin the quality here if we resize it now while holding down control or command on mac press on this layer make sure you press this and it makes this selection now you want to go down and make a mask here and that's it now we have this selection in the mask all right now make sure to unlock this so we can move this image without moving the the mask here so we can move it around and I want to make sure the middle of this image is this road like these white lines on this road and press ctrl or command T so we can resize this and just make it smaller so this is okay I want to make sure this white line these white lines are exactly at the middle of this umbrella of this man so this looks fine now I'm going to hold down shift and select this arrow, these arrows here and make it a little bit flat like that. So we can see this mountain in the back. So we have more depth here. All right, this looks nice. Next you want to press enter and now you want to select the mask here. Select the normal brush, go to your brushes and here you can select just default brushes soft round brush and let's bring the opacity to 50 percent press enter and what i'm going to do now is make the brush a little bit bigger and select this mask and make sure you have black as a color selected and now i'm gonna remove some parts here So I'm just going to click a couple of times. And now I can disable this mask because we don't need it anymore. And as you can see, we can now see the details of this umbrella. And now we can just move this image a little bit to the right. So I want to make sure these white lines are exactly at the middle of this track. Now next I'm going to get rid of these orange colors so it matches this background here. So what I'm going to do now is create a new unit situation adjustment layer here and make sure to press this so we only affect this layer underneath it and let's bring this down to minus 70 like that after that I need to create some darker areas here so I'm gonna create a curves layer here and again press this and let's drop the midtones and 
let's increase the highlights a little bit all right next i want to do is i want to bring this road a little bit up so next i want to select the road layer here press right mouse and click on free transform after that you want to click right mouse again and press warp and now i'm going to bring up the road so it goes all the way up like that and something like this and press enter and bring it a little bit down so we can see the sky here so now we have like this road going a little bit up like the umbrella itself so that is pretty much it thanks for watching hope you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and see you on the next one